Hello everybody and welcome back to another Techno Tokyo Theater video. Happy New Year. Happy, happy New Year. Happy 2018. Guys, this is going to be one of the last two videos I do uh, for 2017 going into 2018. It's going to be about a month before I upload again, but I wanted to give you guys something good and enjoyable to watch. And this is actually one of my favorite videos to do. It's a, it's a very time consuming video for me to record and edit. It takes me about an hour. And sometimes the video can be about an hour long, uh, but I'll try my best to condense it as much as possible. But trust me, you're going to have a good time. These videos are a lot of fun. I always get a kick out of them. They're always hilarious. I, I, as the only video that I make myself that I actually rewatch multiple times, but I think it's funny. I know it's corny. If you're laughing at yourself, then you're a cornball. I get it. Uh, so these are pretty much going to be the figures that are releasing for the month of January. Uh, my anime figure monthly report. And I wanted to get this video out for you guys before I take my little one month break. And you'll see why if you check out my fit, my channel update video, you'll know why I'm going to be gone for a month and kind of what to expect from the channel in that time frame. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So today we are checking out a new website, uh, My Figure Collection. It's not new to me, but it is new for these videos because I usually go to um, Otaku HQ. But I have an account on my figure collection, so if I see a figure I like, it's very easy to just add it to my wish list, uh, which is which is a lot. That's the main benefit of coming to this website. Also, also, if the figure uh, is cast offable, they will show you the cast off version as well. Now, we'll try to get to through as many of these figures as possible, but these 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 videos can take some time. All these ones here that say drafts, we can look at them. But this means that there are a lot of times it means these are not really completed yet. So this Naruto one, if it's still in draft form, it's a pretty good chance it's... Oh, shit! That fucking bad ass! The whole fucking figure glows up. It's not a very good photograph of it. But goddamn, dude. I wasn't expecting this shit like that. Like, tell me that isn't fucking bad ass, dude. How does it glow? Shit, that joint is fire, dude. Like, literally. Fucking fire! And the thing is, I haven't seen too many Naruto figures. They don't make them that often. And definitely not one this fucking badass. God damn, dude. This shit is legit. Like, this is this is actually one of the more clever transformations I've seen in an anime in a long time, you know? Most of the time, the character's hair changes or something changes about them that... You know, give or take. I liked a lot of transformations in Naruto, especially all the different um, Fox transformations. This one it was definitely the most unique. I was like, yo, when this happened, I was like, what the fuck? Naruto's got a new form. This shit looks badass. So, I'm I, I'm I'm not I'm I'm a fan of Naruto, but not as big of a fan as my little brother is. And this fucking figure is legit, dude. So this joint is definitely. I'm gonna be watching this joint. Let me go ahead and. Add it to my collection. And there you go. <laughs> so, on to the next figure. This one is not a draft. It does say it's coming out this this month. So it doesn't give you a specific date. But allegedly, this figure was posted to come out this month. Now, you can see it's clearly more. Oh, whoa. Wasn't, we wasn't ready for that now. We was not ready for that. Good God. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, you can see this is from Teacher Please. I love me some Teacher Please. It's been a while. I used to have the full collection. Uh, Teacher Please is actually a really fucking hilarious anime. This is a priority number one. That's a quote from the sh from the anime if you've ever seen it before. Also, they have a character named Miho. Or is it Maiho? I think it's Maiho. Whatever it is, that shit is hilarious. Come over here, Maiho. Come here, Maiho. You know, come on, that's fucking legit, dude. That's like the best name in any anime. But goddamn, this girl's giving up the goods. It's all gift wrapped. Uh, you don't see, Teacher Please, I wonder if Teacher Please is still very popular. At least enough to get figures of her made. And this is clearly what's supposed to be for the Christmas season. I guess we're still considered in the holidays, but Christmas time is clearly over. So if this figure is not out by now, then it might not be in as big of a demand. But I'll tell you what. It's got my money. No, no, it, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good figure, dude. It looks really good. Yes, indeed.
So for the most part, we're gonna try to stay away from the drafts. We're not gonna click on everything. Most of the figures that that interest me, and uh, the, 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 most of these are not really catching my attention. What is this? These look kind of interesting. We got a little bit of boobage. Uh, these are all these figures are, are posable. Uh, it's kind of hard because the way they do it. Ugh, I don't like posable figures, guys. The only thing about me, you'll know that. I don't care for puzzle figures. Oh goodness, they're showing all the parts that can be detached. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, they mainly got my attention because they were sc scantily clad, but that's kind of it. Aside from that, there's not really anything else that interests me about these figures. This website is legit, though. I will tell you, it's not going to be as difficult to edit this video because of how fast this website is moving in comparison to the other one the other website was adding so much extra time to it so we got a couple of these like miniature dragon ball z figures this is this is this actually this website much be might be much better than the previous one because some of these that i don't want to open up and comment on we can just kind of glance at them here all these are trading figures uh and i don't collect trading figures they're they're really kind of small figures about yay high probably they're cheaper than price figures. They're probably like $10 at, at most. But if you're getting them imported here, you'll probably pay a little bit more. And a lot of times they come in like gotcha boxes. So it's like randomized, almost like a loot box. So you might not always guarantee to get the character that you want. Goodness gracious, dude. She looks like, she looks like a kid, but I am intrigued, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> um... Huh, okay, this is un this is underwhelming. Oh well look at this. The little thing will top come off. Okay, this is this is this is cute, man. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm I'm with it. Alright, I'm with it. This joint is hot. I'm with it. I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> oh, you know. You know we had to click on this joint right here. You know, I like my bunnies. Bunny, bunny, goodness gracious. Now, this is New Year's right here. This how you celebrate. This how you celebrate your new chairs right here. So, what the hell is that in her boobage? Is it like a strap or something? If it's a dildo, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny dildo right there. I don't know what the fuck that is, dude. What the fuck is that sticking out of her thing, dude? I don't know, man. If you guys can tell what the hell that is, let me know. Because I don't I can't fucking figure it out. something in her cleavage I don't know uh, now sometimes they'll have uh, photo other photographs um, you know from people who actually own the figure but seeing how this figure isn't out yet I don't see any I don't see any down there uh, it's, it's a one-seventh scale mm, a, little, a little small for my taste it's average size but I, I usually prefer them a little larger that's what she said so let's keep it going. Oh, this is the original character, and she is smoking. You know what I'm saying? She's not a anime character, if you notice. She's actually has her details. It looks a lot more realistic. Well, oh, what the fuck? Well, how, how does she have a whole different pose? This is not a posable figure. I can tell she's not a posable figure. She must have a different set of legs that you can exchange out. Cause I wouldn't expect her to get down low like that. Look at her doing the squat like for bam. <laughs> You wasn't ready for that joint right there. Dude, they could they could have eased me into it, dude. They was like, take one, I, I take two. <laughs> well, bye bye. Oh shit! If we zoom in on that joint, we, we get a close up. Damn, you know what I'm saying? God damn. Well, let's keep going. God damn. <laughs> Yo, chill, man. Just fucking chill, man, with this shit, man. Fucking chill, man. Oh, oh, oh. I thought they were going to show the nips on this site. I'm not going to lie. These are promotional photographs. If there are any people that actually own these figures, which most people will not, uh, because these are figures that are haven't released yet, unless they're being re-released or something like that, uh, you're not going to see a lot of fan pictures uh, being uploaded. Well, this is clearly a, meant to be a more provocative figure. Just because a figure's cast off doesn't mean it's provocative. All right, doesn't mean it's of a sexual nature. YouTube, I'm talking to you, YouTube, because you're fucking with my videos, all right? And just because a figure has nudity in it doesn't mean that it is instantly sexual. 
That doesn't count for this fucking figure. This figure is clearly sexual. But I'm telling you, not every figure that close comes off instantly means it's of a sexual nature. Alright? It's artistic. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going on my rants. <clears throat> but there. There you have it. There you have it. We got some. Let's get that booty one more time. Let's. Ba bam! There you go. That's for you guys. Happy. Happy New Year's right there. Okay, man, we are fucking amping that shit up quick, dude. God damn, I wasn't ready for these just fucking figures to be out here like this, dude. Sam, this shit, it's another one that's not really, I mean, she has an anime vibe, but you can see there's a little more realism with her concept. Her eyes are a lot smaller. Uh, God damn, I mean, damn, this shine looks elegant, dude. Like, this shine is classy. Look at the fucking base. Look at this fucking diamond base. This looks like some shit you see in a fucking hotel, man. You ride up, you know, you got the sculptures and stuff with, like, the fucking springs of water just shooting out. This, if you see this shit sitting on your countertop when you go into the bathroom, you're gonna be like, oh, well, now. You're gonna need that little sample size lotion that they put up in there. You just gonna put that little hand lotion in your, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it, all right? This joint is legit. God damn, that shit's clean. Look at that fucking base. I love really simple plastic base, but they... Oh, hold on. Let's look at that back. Woo. We're not ready for that now. Let's let... We're trying to analyze the base. So the base here has this nice little... If, if it wasn't for this part right here where you can see the actual... I guess the name of the company or something. Like, that's something about it that makes it look like it's a trophy. Trophy. Trophy wife, if you will. All right? Trophy waifu. All right, and something really elegant about it, just because of that. If that wasn't there, the base would basically be kind of plain. But something about it makes it look a lot more elegant with that being there. Now let's go to the cheeks. All right, this is grade A cheekage. All right, man, you're getting that. You're getting that right there. Look, there's another angle for you. We looking good. We are in the city, my friend. Not the big titty city, apparently, because there ain't no titties in this girl. But we are in the city. We're somewhere in the city. So this is a, this is nice. I like this figure a lot. I uh, do not know if I'm going to get her. She does not have enough clothes on for me to want to display her, which is saying a lot. Uh, if, if a character can be unclothed or undressed, I usually prefer to have that as an option. You know, that's all. That's all I'm saying. Now, I believe this character is from, uh, da, 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 da. I, it looks like it's from Miss Kobayashi Dragon Maid, but this might not be the, that might not be the case at all. Uh, she looks like a character from Miss Kobayashi. No, she's from, uh, she's from that, uh, my, my girlfriend is a gal show, I think. I don't know. I don't know if the character looks extremely familiar. Maybe you guys know exactly who she is. And this is really fucking awesome, actually. No pervy shit with this one. I mean... Clearly it's a bit pervy, but it's not clearly not as sexualized as the previous one. It, it's something about this figure actually looks really clean. Even though it's very simple, I like the fact they gave her a needle. I like the fact they gave her the little, like, um, what's the, what's the shit called around her neck? The, uh, lanyard with her name badge on it. Like, the shit looks legit. It's definitely not from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Uh, look, she's got the fucking candy in her pocket. Like, I mean, it, it's definitely going for a little sexy, sexy fan service, but it's not... I guess after the last joint we saw, the girl pretty much had nothing on. Like, this is definitely a lot more tamed. It, it looks good, man. This joint looks legit. I, I would fucking actually not. Let's, let's, you know what? You've been noticed by Senpai. How about that? There you go, baby. You've been added to the wish list. You have to pardon me, uh, got a little bit of a, still coming over, over a little bit of a cold now, uh, but this video's gonna be mostly unedited, so, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this website to work so smoothly. Like I said, we're not gonna talk about every figure, all these mechs and stuff, we don't care about these. Pokemon, I ain't buying a goddamn Pokemon, I like Pokemon, but I'm not gonna buy no Pokemon figures. Uh, I don't want this girl, I don't want none of these. This Roshi, though, like, this is a new color for him. 
But one of my favorite figures I have looks a lot like this, but it's of it's of Luffy. And I think it's made by the exact same people. This is only a prize figure, but if this quality of this fucking joint is half as good as the detail on that Luffy, this fucking like I paid ten dollars for this Luffy. It was the very first figure I ever bought. It was a fucking ten dollar prize figure, and I swear to you, the detail on this goddamn Luffy figure is better than some of these fucking. The hundred fucking dollar, hundred fifty dollar figures I have up here. It's a goddamn shame. It seems like the bigger the figures get, the less detail they get. But when they're tiny man like this, like look, you can see fucking Roshi's eyes through the shades. There's a fucking legitimate quality details right here, dude. This shit looks beast. And I don't know what it is about some of these. Look at the look at this fucking turtle shell, dude. This is a fucking legit yo, 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 Roshi, man. Now this isn't the original. This is like clearly some sort of alternative thing for him because they did have an original version of this. But I like this one a lot more. It's something about it's very quirky and weird. Look, you can even take his glasses off. Tell me this shit isn't fucking detailed. This is, keep in mind it's a goddamn prize figure, dude. This, by Ben Presto, I believe. And these are some quality, this is some quality shit. This is really nice. Alright, so we got Asura, we got Asanji. I'm not clicking on them because they look kind of ch ch cheap. Uh, <laughs> cheap. Uh, we look to click on this girl because she ain't got no pants on. She ain't got no pants on. She ain't got no pants on. Well, there's nothing much to say about her. She only has one photograph, too. Yeah, that's it. Let's keep it going. Uh, because. I mean, uh, okay, so we are starting to see some repeats. I don't know if this girl's a repeat. I don't think she is. I don't think she is. I think I would have remembered because, God damn, this girl got tan lines. You know what I'm saying? And she got her tongue out, dude? What the? Oh, no. Oh. Whoa, what the? Oh. Come on, dude. This shit's legit, dude. This shit is legit. This joint, you know, it's, you know it's about to go down here. If y'all know anything about me, you know my taste. This joint is a little racy. It's a little bit, it's a little more exposed than, I was, than I'm usually comfortable with. Uh, if I get a cast off figure, I prefer for them to have a little bit of clothing on at first. She is basically n nude. She might as well be. She might even be cast off. And she is a one-fifth scale. And we are, baby, you know what? You've been noticed by Simpop, baby. You know what? You got that, you got that star. Because you five star, baby. Okay, this, this character we've seen before, I do like these little maids. It's a very simple uh, concept for a figure. But I think it's just the, the splash of red. One of them has a splash of blue. That little bit of color is really nice. Not going to fave it, but this one, it definitely looked like it's getting a star. This right look it's giving it five stars, man. Because god damn, this bitch is like, god, god damn. God, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, shut up. Oh, hold on. I guess this video getting age restricted after all. I had a feeling some of these joints might show a little bit of the skibbies, man. But let's 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 keep it going. Let's keep it going. This, uh, for art, man. It's art. It's art. fucking art, man. Oh, god damn it. At least I think it's art. Fuck. This shit. Okay. All right. This shit's getting real. Woo, my favorite collection. You oh, God damn it. YouTube don't already like me, man, as it is. Fuck. Fuck. Getting shit, dude. It was not ready. Oh, my fucking good. We gotta get out of here, man. This is danger zone right here. Oh shit. Five stars, man. Five stars. Hurry, we give him goddamn five stars. Five stars, and we're out of here, dude. God damn it. Fuck. Shit. God. Ooh, that shit took me by surprise, man. I had a feeling some of these figures would be a little exposed, but goddamn, I wasn't ready for that. <clears throat> Ooh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, this figure has been replicated so many times. And it's a very famous bootleg, dude. You see so many goddamn bootleg versions of this figure on, like, eBay and stuff. Uh, this is just a new rendition of her. There's so many different... Oh, shit! I keep forgetting you gotta fix the video. I keep forgetting you gotta fix the video cast off. Usually I would not give a shit, okay? But I am trying to get back in YouTube's good graces. 
And god damn it. I mean, she, this shit is censored. So I, I guess we're okay. This shit is actually censored in comparison to the other one. But god damn, this shit is so fucking exposed, man. I was not ready. Fuck. Okay, shit. Sh shit. Uh, so in contrast to the other figure I was talking about before, there's another version of her where she has brown hair. I think her hair might be shorter. Brown dress, red dress, or some shit. So there's a couple different versions of this character. This just must be a new version that they're working on. And god damn it, I'm sure it will be just as popular as the other ones. I'm, I'm really interested in this one. It's not bad, but it, it's kind of basic. Uh, uh, fucking Brawly, dude. I really don't care about this figure. It's all, you clearly can tell he's posable. But let's go ahead and analyze him. We, you know, yeah, give something for the ladies. I mean, clearly we've been goggling at all the, the girls. I don't think this kind of shit girls, girls are interested in. Even though they liked the muscles, I'm sure. They're, the fucking hair and the loincloth would turn them off. So, uh... Yeah, yeah. I like I like some of these fucking action poses they've taken for him though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that these actual wall, these figure did the, this wall shit right here with the rubble. This is actually a, a uh, actual thing you can buy as well to create your own action scenes. But man, they did a fantastic job with this shit. It was very convincing. Does it, does it come with Goku and Vegeta and? Fucking pain! Look how fuck! Look how much pain they look like they're in, dude. They're just like ah, I'm fucking done. Like you know, like this. The only expression they have, the they comes with Broly. Uh, Bro, uh Broly comes with accessories. Yeah, it, it's the version of Goku and Vegeta getting the holy hell beat out of them. Accessories. Oh my goodness, dude. That is fucking insane. Now nah, this thing looks like a transformer. This is the shit I don't like about. You know, posable figures. I mean, look, I know he has so many joints and stuff, and there's probably something really cool about that. Like, look at all the different ways you can bend him and flex him. I played with action figures when I was younger, all right? I'm a man now. I play with mature dolls now, okay? Thank you. Respect my hobby, all right? So, uh, these two ladies right here, we've seen them before. This is Ren. And this is uh, um, uh, Rim and Ram, whatever the fuck their names are. Actually, these aren't the ones that I was thinking about. They're only one seventh scale. The ones that I saw before, they were like made outfits, and them bad boys were one fourth. They look fucking legit. Uh, and I'd like to get them. I'd love to get those as a set. Um, they are bringing back these Yu Yu Hakusho figures, man. I mean, with the quickness, dude. Like, Yu Yu Hakusho is becoming in demand. I think they're getting ready to plot. Some sort of move real quick, guys, because they're bringing out a new Yu Hakusho game. They just released, like, some sort of, I think, a DVD with some bonus features or some shit on it. Like, uh, like some OVAs and all this other shit. Uh, they are um, also going to be um, re-releasing some of the older figures. Not This isn't one of the ones in that set, but some of the older figures that came out, they're doing a re-release of those. And I think I'll pick up all of them. It's like four of them, but they're very inexpensive. So you got Yusuke, you got Hiei, you got Kurama, and you got Kuwabara. And all of them, you can get all of them probably for the price of like one figure. Like, So I think it'd be kind of cool. That's one of my favorite animes growing up, younger. Like, it would be really cool to have a full set of those guys. Um, but this is Hiei. This figure is, I think it might be a trading figure just based off of the quality of it. It doesn't look that good. Um, and, uh, he's sitting down, which I also don't really like. I don't like figures that are, like, squatting and sitting. Like, you can't, you can't really see them that well. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? It doesn't really tell you what type of figure it is, but I'm pretty convinced it's a trading figure. I could be wrong. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's, let's click on this little devil lady here. See what's good about her. Please keep your titties in, in your shirt, miss. I'm excited to see you. Yes, I am. And I'd like to see more of you. But uh, I can't take no more nip slips up in this motherfucker. Goddamn YouTube motherfuckers gonna crucify me. Um, This a 1-6 scale joint. That's a pretty nice size. To love Rue. To love Rue, I've, I've, I need to fucking watch this anime, dude. Like, they're like in season 3 or 4. I mean, this is a fucking Harlem slash, like, etchy anime. Like, it's right up my alley, man. Uh, 
and and this figure is actually really nice too. It's very elegant. I don't know how I feel about her big ass devil arm that she's got going there. Kind of takes away some of the sexiness. You you don't want to get a hand out, a hand job with them joints, man. You just you ain't got nothing left. Just stubs and nubs, man. God damn. But uh, aside from that, yeah, it's actually a pretty nice figure. Kirby, 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 that's the name you should know. Kirby, 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 Kirby is the daughter's show. Tell me this time you won't believe us. Kirby, 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 the one. Kirby, right? No, I, I love me Kirby, alright? Kirby's like my favorite Nintendo character, alright? So, this is pretty fucking badass, actually. Oh, shit, it's from um, Figure... Figures for first, uh, first four figures or some shit. I can't remember the name of the website. The funny thing is, I've been following this website for years. Long before I even purchased a figure, long before I even had, how I had it in my thought process. They've been making video game figures for years now, like really high quality video game figures. Thing is, I don't own really any video game figures. I only own anime figures. But they have been getting in the. Uh, they've recently started kind of an anime figure line, and they started with three animes. It did One Punch Man. It did. Uh, Shamrock Champloo, and now they're getting ready to do Berserk. That fucking Berserk figure is legit. Now, that figures are not cheap. Some of them are. Like, these, some of these figures, like, you know, I don't know. It's kind of weird how they gauge their prices. Because it came out like a Crash Bandicoot figure that was like 50 bucks or some shit. And then you have something like this, because they came out with a Bowser very similar to this Kirby. It's not really that detailed, but it, it did have a part of it that lit up like his fire breath. Like 400, 500 bucks. You're like, what the fuck? How do you sell a fucking Crash Bandicoot for for fifty dollars? Goddamn Bowser for for like five hundred. Like like so the prices are just kind of all over the place. But I'm pretty sure the goddamn Berserk figure ain't gonna be cheap because that shit is detailed. Uh, but that's the only figure so far I've seen from them. Uh, first of their anime line that's coming out that I've really been wanting, dude. I'm all about that Berserk. Uh, this Kirby's nice too. As you can see, his his little flame kick does light up. Fighter, it's his fighter Kirby, just to be more specific. Not flame Kirby. I know. I got you. I feels you. But the the kick looks like fire, but it, it's not. All right. It's just a it's just like a shockwave. I get it. It's nice. I don't think I'm gonna be paying. Uh, whatever the fuck my figures first four first first four figures is fucking charging for it. All right, we are gonna have to pick up the pace here because I am uh, kind of rambling quite a bit. And I do want to um, make sure this video doesn't go on for too long. Uh, there are always a lot of figures here. And I know that uh, these videos did take at least an hour most of the time. Uh, so aside from the fact that this girl is <laughs> removing her clothes, which is usually a plus for me. I'm not against that. Uh, I think the one thing that treats about this figure is this is clearly designed after kind of like an older anime like come in like almost in the age of like asteroid boy maybe not as far as back as Astro boy but like kind of in the vein of some of the older animes and uh, cause you can see by the detail on her face and the way her hair is and you know things like that that she's clearly like not a modern anime by any means but I still don't know exactly who she is now can we get some cheeks up and thank you you asking you will receive you see them there you go that's all you need that's all you need just a little bit of cheekage gal series okay very nice. I actually do like this figure. It's from Mega House, and the character is from some fucking anime I can't pronounce, but she does look familiar. Uh, we'll say that. Uh, so, you know, it just would not be right if we did not go through a fucking monthly figure report without a goddamn saber in the fucking mix, dude. Fucking saber. Always fucking sa Uh, But, yeah, it's, it's saber. This is actually... The fuck? I thought it was a real person. They shot this fucking shit. Look. Look at this. Let's fucking zoom into this shit. Oh, fuck. Hold on. How do, why the fuck did they shoot this picture like it's like like one of those off-centered fucking Tinder photographs? Like, well, a girl might be a... Maybe she's a fucking guy. Maybe she's a... Maybe she's... I don't know. Got a dragon face for all you fucking know they shot this shit like they were trying to capture a photograph of bigfoot or something like it's all like blurry fuzzy it's like in the bedroom you only get a glimpse of it like they're giving like that weird ass like what the fuck are they trying to do here dude it's like some fucking tinder profile picture like there's no face in this picture this is fucking weird dude i don't know what they were going for if it's giving out those creepish vibes and that's exactly what they're going for i guess 
but this is actually a really nice i love her lingerie this is oh this is actually from the game fate estella so i guess this outfit is specifically to that game uh in particular i i do like this uh the game is okay i played it i played it on the switch it's subpar as far as like these muso style games go but uh yeah that at least you got a great figure out of it uh Maybe the ladies sound like Slayer, man. Girl needs some more meat. Like, look at this flat. Her ass flat, yo. There's, that, there ain't no cheekies back there, dude. I do love Fate series, though. I, I know I give Saber a hard way to go. That's because she has more figures than anyone else, man. You kind of get irritated seeing these Saber figures after a while. But you know what you don't get irritated of? This boobage right here. Let me tell you. You don't get, you don't get, you don't get tired of this shit. Oh, this is fucking weird, though. Like, I, I'm kind of conflicted here. Because her body says 25. Her face says 5. You know, I mean, like, why does her face look so childish? It's really weird, dude. It's like kind of chubby, eyes are a bit big. And I understand that's kind of the anime thing, but there's something very young about her face. I, I, you can't zoom in any more than that? God damn it. This fucking, this fucking zoom feature is not that helpful. I don't even know why I even bother putting it on here. Can you, if you hold it, do you zoom further? Nope. But you get, you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's just a really weird, her face is just really fucking strange, dude. It's creepy. Because her face looks too young. But her body looks nice. And we, oh, okay. And we're getting some more body shots. Let's, I want to give you guys a glimpse, but, I, <laughs> listen, man. You too. <laughs> Please have mercy on me. Because <laughs> I know these motherfuckers are trying to kill my ass, man. You guys want the shell to stay up. You guys are going to have to, have to, you got to get the peak when you can. It's, it can't be up for too long. <laughs> These motherfuckers are trying to crucify me. So I'm trying to, I'm trying my best. You're going to have to go back and pause the video or whatever you got to do. Because I'm, I'm going to make sure y'all get, get the nip slip. But there's only so much I can do. I'm trying to avoid getting any more. <laughs> and YouTube harassing me over your bullshit, man. Okay, all right. Good times, good times. Thank you, baby. You did a good job. You're a good sport. Thanks for the cheeky. Thanks for the tits. Good times. I would, I would add you to my to my collection, but your weird ass five year old face is turning me off. Okay. Let's keep it going, and we got this girl right chat. Don't know where the hell she's from. Maybe she could come over here and do her thing for me. Thank for me. Uh. One, one seventh scale. Uh, she's pretty simple. One thing. Oh, my damn. Wow, damn. Her hair is actually quite nice. I like the little uh, gradient they put right there on the tips right there. That's really nice. Uh, and they got like kind of a wooded floorboard for the base. Pretty, pretty, pretty sick shit, dude. Coffee cup. I mean, it's not a bad. It's a very simple figure, but everything's done pretty well. This character, I believe we've seen, she looks like Hana. Is this Hana? It says Hana Man cover girl. But, no, it's not. It's definitely not Hana. I thought it was Hana from prison school, but this is definitely not Hana. Uh, but it does say Hana Man for, like, the manufacturer. Um, another really fucking kind of weird looking figure. I mean, I get it's supposed to be sexy. But look at this weird ass, like, you know what? This is the fabric bra. I was gonna say this looks really weird how this bra is sitting on here. It's a fabric bra, which means this can be removed, which means that maybe there's gonna be some nibblage. Hopefully not. <laughs> uh, you, uh, that's a really weird thing to say. So usually I'm looking forward to it, but I'm trying to be good, man. I'm trying to be on my best behavior. Look at that shit, man. Fuck. Yeah. I like that. That's kind of cool. But uh, let's uh, let's keep going. Damn, bitch got pecs, don't she? All right. Sure, she's not a bitch. She's a lady. Lady. Sorry. God damn. Uh, eh, she's an okay figure. Nothing much to say there. Uh, okay, we are getting a couple of repeats. This Chung Lee, not, a, not really that sexy looking like I think they want her to look. I understand Chung Lee got them heavy ass thighs. But this shit looks a little bit scary, dude. This is looking like the fan art from uh, a goddamn game called uh, it was Dragons, Dragons, not Dragons Quest, not Dragon Blade. 
Uh, God damn it. There was a Dragon game where you fight a side-scroller game. You're fighting motherfuckers. It was on PS2, PS3, PS3, I think. I don't know, man. This is a bad example. Nonetheless, her legs look a little bit deformed. And I understand this is how Chun Li has always had thick thighs. Uh, but I guess they look a little bit nicer or more tamed when they're inside of her pants. And not so much this, this version of her. It looks a little bit disgusting, actually. <laughs> and I mean, Chun Li's not my favorite character from Street Fighter anyway. Cammy is. Uh, so, I mean, she she's okay. Uh, maybe we should, maybe we should chill out and actually look at something that isn't overly pervy for a change. This is a guy from Reborn, um, and, uh, I, I haven't gotten that far in Reborn. I know it's from Shonen Jump. Oh, okay, this other character with him is actually also from Reborn. Uh, I know it's about a character who's like a hitman. This little fucking guy right here that's with him, he's giving him powers, with his like magic bullets or some shit. I think he shoots the kid. That's how he's got his abilities and stuff. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm not saying pretend like I know anything about Reborn. But I will tell you, this figure is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's very detailed. Look at the chain. Look at the ruffles in his shirt. Look at this fucking tie, dude. Like, this this trigger is clean. Very nice indeed, man. Like, I, it looks like he belongs to fucking Kingdom Hearts or something. Cause this kid was like some shit when he when the show first started out. But they clearly gave this motherfucker an upgrade or something, because he looks like a badass now. I know he was like kind of like a like a kid almost when they first started the show. Yeah, but this dude definitely got an upgrade. That's for sure. Wow, now. These, what the fuck is this? These are two, no, these, these are one twelve scale figures, we're not even gonna bother talking about them, they're just so, they're so small, but we'll go to the, uh, oh, these are also 112 scale figures, so these are another really tiny ass fucking figures, dude, but, I mean, everybody knows what High School DXD is, uh, I mean, I think this is probably one of the most popular etchies, uh, it's definitely one of the better written ones, the show is somehow entertaining, even though it's clearly just designed to be kind of a brainless, etchy show. The actual storylines are written very well. The characters are very likable. It's a, actually a pretty good show, surprisingly. But, I mean, this is a really tiny figure um, of Rius Agrimory. The only character's name I actually kind of remember in the show. Aside from that, I don't remember too many other characters' names. Uh, this is her uh, another character from the show, but nothing much to say about those. They're okay. Man, there's so many figures I want to stop on, but there's a lot of these I feel like we've seen before as well. This one only has one photograph. No, it doesn't. It has more than one. Is she missing her arm here? Or she just got it cuffed up under her. This guy looks familiar. I don't know where she's from. Okay. 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 All right. Good times. Good fucking times. Uh, not much to say about this character. She, she's okay. The funny thing is, I don't think we've actually even entered the part of the website that actually talks about the figures that actually are releasing this month. Because these are all figures that are supposed to release this month. And a lot of them are figures I've seen before. And I believe that they just got pushed back. So, once we start getting to figures that are going to be released this month, you will see actual dates on them. Uh, so those are the ones that are confirmed to be coming out, I believe. This figure is actually kind of nice, even though it's, you know, very simple. It's an elegance to it, which I which I like. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. This one is actually bomb diggity though. Let's see if it's this one is bomb diggity, dude. Is this real fabric on this on this cloth right here? Like, I couldn't get this figure really. I mean, it was way too bubbly and cute and pink, like. It's, uh, I don't know, like, I don't even know where the hell to put this thing. But I love the fact it comes with, like, a real table. Probably even a real tablecloth. Like, there's something very... Like, these guys take their shit seriously. And one thing that always attracts me about a figure is definitely a unique base. Because most of the time, the figure and the base are never working to... It can join together. A lot of times, the base is just an afterthought. So when a figure goes through the extra time and process to actually make a nice base, 
it definitely gets props for me and i will actually add this to my wish list i don't know if i'll get it it just looks a little bit too feminine for me and it looks like a clash with my collection but i definitely want to keep an eye on that figure so i'm going to add it to my to my wish list uh, i kind of forgot i had that option i might have missed a figure that i should have saved um but i think i've been i think i've been keeping up with it this is another character from high school dxd and uh, she's a little bit larger of a, of a scale as well uh, this was an angel character who eventually got turned into a demon, I believe. God, the, the detail on this figure is fucking horrid. What a fucking ugly ass figure, dude. It's a 1-6 scale. Is this figure supposed to be coming out soon? This shit is ugly, dude. Like, the detail is horrible on this joint. It looks like a prize figure level quality. Maybe less than a prize figure. Almost like a fucking trainer figure level quality, dude. I mean, from a distance, you can't tell how bad it looks, but when you get those close-up shots, it looks does not look good, man. All right, here's your girl from Persona 5. And... Uh, I love Persona 5, man. I haven't beaten the game yet. I know. I'm not, I'm not the only one though. Uh, from a lot of video game um, podcasts stuff I listen to, there are quite a few people who are having a hard time completing the game. Not because it's challenging or difficult, just because the game is so long and time consuming. And once you kind of, you know, gravitate away from it, it's kind of hard to get back into it. But I, I do plan on going back to Persona 5 at my earliest convenience, which is not going to be anytime soon. Right, these bunny girls I love, I like them, I love them, I like them, I love them. But I've also seen them before, so it's not really a reason to comment on them. Now, this character... <laughs> I have just gotten into Food Wars, so... I can finally show this character this is the love and respect that she deserves. So she always stood out to me, I always thought her concept was so unique and interesting. Uh... But this is Meat Meat, alright? I don't know what her full name is, but the main character just calls her Meat Meat because her specialty in the show is cooking with meat. And she uses a lot of sexual puns. <laughs> She's like, let me at that meat and <laughs> shit like that. So, I don't know, like, she, they, they do a good job with her dialogue to make her seductive uh, while she's cooking. And she's one of my favorite characters. They're probably the most popular character in the show. Give me that Meat Meat Meat. Give me that, give me that, give me that meat, meat. I wish it was a little larger, 1-7 scale. I, give me, I guess that's a decent size, but... Actually, let me go ahead and add it to my collection. That, I like her a lot as a character. Now that I've actually been started watching the show. Golden Batman. This must be some sort of weird-ass... Exclusive pre-order or some shit. I don't know what the fuck that is. I mean, goddamn, there's just so many characters, man. And a lot of these characters, this, this is the, this is the sad part. We've already, like, at least 30 minutes to an hour, to, uh, 30 to 40 minutes into this video. And most of these characters are not coming out this month, if we're being completely honest. Because they haven't put dates on them. So, these are characters that were supposed to come out. They've probably been, probably been pushed back. But they are characters we are seeing for the first time. So, I'm not complaining. Uh, in the future months, we will probably just stick to the ones that actually have been dated. Just to save time on the video. This character I like a lot. There's only one picture of her. But like I said, when you got an award-winning base, you're winning with me. Alright? So that is a fantastic base. The cheer and everything is very nice. Uh, and actually would go really nicely with the other set. Oh, there's more pictures. I thought there was only two because of the way that they organized them. God damn. But uh, this, this would go really nice with the... Um, with the other one because it has like a table with it right but i mean the only problem is the aesthetic of the colors and the outfits that would clash a little bit but this is the kind of stuff that is really cool about these bases you get one character with a chair another one with a table you can make yourself a little set you know that would be really cool we got another character from uh, persona here but i mean not really interested in him, he's posable. This character I've seen before, uh, the last time we did a, a figure um, video. And uh, huh, this one's interesting. Can we, can we not click on this? I mean, we got to, right? I mean, it's like, 
We got to. This lady is going to get sexual, though, because clearly she is rubbing her clit, okay? So it's about to get sexual. It's about to get intense. Uh, hide hide the, the kitties, because uh, I don't know what's going to happen when we go. Oh, fuck. Uh, this, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. We clicked that damn button, but it was going to happen. I knew something's going down. So you got to go. <laughs> fuck. Goddamn figure that almost killed me. Okay, thank you for the censorship. Not like it really helped, but ah, god damn it. I could never buy a figure like this. Doesn't mean I can't look and enjoy it. I don't think this character from any anime in particular. I think she's maybe a original character. Uh, she might be from something. But usually these characters are like overly sexualized like this. Tend to not be uh, from any kind of series of any sort. And this is definitely of a sexual nature. Ugh, I'm gonna have to. This part might even make it to the video. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's one thing if the character's nude, it's another thing if they're like masturbating. Like, this is a little bit too much. So, well, this is my possibly fucking. This possibly might not even make it into the video. I'll do it in a way where we don't have to see all the extra stuff. Fuck. These videos are gonna give me a trouble. <laughs> um. So. Uh, here, here we go. We got a couple of uh, different figures here. I've seen this girl before, so we're not going to even talk about her. This character I have seen, not seen before. And she looks awesome, dude. She's also sitting on a very awesome base. This is definitely going to get a like for me. Oh, are these characters designed to go together? Because this other character I've also seen, she's a much older figure, though. And, dude, they look amazing together. I, I wish their colors actually were a little more cohesive. If they were really designed to be a set, but oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, okay. oh, shit, hold on, hold on, hold on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, god damn it, they just hit you with a damn combo attack right there, did they? I, 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 like, it's difficult because as you can see, some of these pictures are censored and then some of them aren't, so. I don't always know if, if they're going to be uncensored or not. A lot of them actually haven't been uncensored. Uh, I think it's okay if it's just a glimpse. <laughs> we tried our best here, man. I do not. I ain't trying to get no more trouble from using <laughs> I tried my best here, guys. I want to show these figures to you guys in their full glory. This is for artistic and educational purposes only. <laughs> not for not for any sexual purposes. Oh god, this is becoming very difficult to defend. <laughs> but uh hold on, let me gotta go back because I gotta fave this bad girl. She was beast. Thank you. Let's keep it going. I guess this is an old figure. I'm pretty sure they must be re-releasing her because I've seen this before. I have also seen this before. Another re-release, I assume. This character looks really nice for a very simple and elegant uh, design. Oh god, I think it's from the the uh, the, 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 the anime with the ships. Because like they always have like a ship piece or something attached to them, which I'm never really that fond of. But uh, this this character in general is actually really nice. Like she looks good. She looks good. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice. I actually have these stone figures. Like, look, they're posable. This is kind of interesting. This one uh, definitely is posable. But it's like a figure version of a old piece of artwork. That's kind of an interesting choice. Uh, okay. So this figure, I also really... I don't want her, but I do want the other figure that kind of goes with her. Uh, which is a, uh, a, a Miku. So for the time being, I'll just add her to the to the same thing. There's not much to say about her. We've seen her before, but I'll, I'll just add her to the collection. Ooh, this is this is the bad joint, man. I've already I've already added her to the wish list. We can't look at her again, but goddamn, that shit was legit. She's like one of my favorite ones we've seen. All right, we are actually getting down to the we're winding down to the number. We're actually finally getting to some of the characters that are going to be coming out soon. Uh. Let's go back. Did I miss something? Why does it start off at the 10th? Okay, th this shit is so ass backwards, man. 
Uh, so we got to start off at the bottom because these are all coming out on the first. Now you're going to start seeing dates. I don't really don't like how disformed this fucking character is. I think it's a doll, a posable doll. And she looks really weird, like her titties like being that size and the rest of her body being so slender. And her head just being up there. I, I'm not even going to bother clicking on her. She looks fucking weird. Uh, she's not a figure. She's like a posable doll. And we're not going to bother with her. So this is Monday the 1st. Y'all like these weird like Power Ranger type joints coming out. Uh, they look okay. Uh, they're not really that big into these type of characters. Uh, I think they're called Carmen Riders. Okay. They are going to a Carmen Rider video game. That looks pretty fucking badass. Uh, that I might be interested in. But getting these figures I'm not. On the on the Monday the eighth, I like how they specify these dates. We have this figure coming out, which uh, let's get a glimpse of her. Ugh, is this a doll too? Even if she's not a doll, I feel like she is definitely posable. Like you can see, she has fabric. This is definitely a doll. It's not a figure, really. I mean, maybe somebody interested in this, but it's not for me. Hey, there's a difference between action figures and dolls all right these ain't these ain't dolls all right these are fucking action figures don't don't you start that with me okay and her what the fuck is up with this girl not much apparently she's pretty relatively basic i mean i like her kicks if, for what that's worth her shoes are pretty nice Apparently, a lot of figures do not come out at the beginning of the year, because uh, surprisingly enough, this this list is awfully kind of light, uh, which means that actually our monthly figure reports might go a little bit quicker, because uh, these are all the figures that are confirmed for coming out. We got some One Piece figures. These are all trading figures. Uh, so these are like, you know, random prize boxes. <laughs> Nothing too crazy about these. I mean, you got Black, Whitebeard, Blackbeard, Marco, Brooke, Perona, and Usopp. You know, I know it's my One Piece characters. Maybe not all of them, but I, I know a great deal of them. Thanks to the One Piece game I play, they kind of help give some light to some of the minor characters. This fucking character, he's from Shonen Jump, man, but I don't I don't exactly know who he is. I've never really seen him before. You got a Goku black hair. You got two versions of Hancock from One Piece, uh, which I believe has already come out, so these might just be color variants. Uh, I don't really feel inclined to click on any of these pictures because I don't really think I'm going to get any of them. This is the guy from... Food Wars, isn't it? No, he's from Idol Ish. Some sort of Idol Master show. Then you have Shiro Yoshi here in two different colors. This one looks like it's fucking uh, like a bootleg. Because look at how, f f like, all her paint looks like it's coming off. Uh, this is definitely from a video game. Because uh, this character clearly don't exist in the show. But it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, this is Bardock, also from a video game. Because he has the mask on. It's kind of hard to see it with the tan right there. Uh, I don't really. Uh, interesting these kids, so I'm not gonna click on them. Uh, this one actually is maybe the first one that kind of interests me a little bit, but I ain't gonna click on her either. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the well, this is kind of sad, man. Most of the, the figures that we looked at uh, earlier in the video that aren't even coming out this month were far more interesting. Um, and uh, then we have these two, two no new versions of Leviathan. Uh, what's new about her is the fact that her base is illuminated now, uh, so this is a re release. So that's something to look forward to for you guys. We got Jojo, we got a Vegeta, and we have these guys up here. Uh, this month is not really a whole lot of stuff coming out that I'm interested in. I'm glad we kind of looked at some of the stuff in the beginning because that's it looks like the only thing that's gonna make this video kind of uh, you know be worth watching. So a lot of these other figures that are coming out this month don't look that interesting to me. Let's click on her. She's in a bikini, so we got to click on her, and she is very underwhelming. Not anything to say, honestly. Wow, the detail on her is really not that great either. I mean, it's okay. She might be like a prize figure, but she looks look. It just it just doesn't look good to me. It's very disappointing. <laughs> these are fucking ugly. These are Yuri on Ice figures, but these are really fucking ugly. Is this Putin? Uh, this is Charlotte Putin. <sighs> I can't believe made figures, bitch. Cause I'm oh, sorry. You know what? I don't know if I said anything. <laughs> was likable. She was a very likable character up until recently. <laughs> um, now, Reiju, definitely, as well as uh, VV. These characters make sense. They're very likable characters in the show. Putin is some shit, alright? I guess that's why her name is Putin. It makes sense. It's a very dark colored 
item <laughs> that looks very similar to shit. <laughs> um, crocodile. Uh, some Dragon Ball Z figures here. This figure looks kind of cool. Uh, please don't disappoint me because so far this month has been kind of rough. I think she's posable, so you are indeed a disappointment, but your outfit's pretty badass. Man, uh, there is actually almost nothing coming out this month that uh, interests me at all. That is almost dis that's sad, dude. This monthly reports might actually... Uh, if this is what we ha have to look forward to each month, it's going to be a bit disappointing because I'm showing you everything. Here you go, Sunday the 20th. God damn it. We, ended up, we started on such a high note and now... I kind of ended a little bit on lukewarm. Like, none of that stuff is really that interesting to me. Some Pokemon stuff, a lot of stuff is draft, so it's not even confirmed to come out. God damn it, can we find one figure this month that actually might be worth a damn? And then another girl posing this seductively in a chair, which I'm usually all about, but I don't know, man. I'm scared to click on these goddamn seductive figures, man, because they've, they've been fucking shit up, man, lately. Okay, okay, we see you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, thank you for the censorship. I do not know if it is going to help my ass at all. Oh, no, what? don't know what's going on there. Uh, yeah, thanks for the censorship. Don't know it's going to help because that shit was way more sexual than I was expecting, especially towards the end. Uh, <clears throat> wow, look at this fucking sexualized fucking 18. I don't think they can make 18 more sexualized than she, she already. I mean, they have they haven't really gone that far with her, but like her clothes are all ripped up and she's like pulling her jacket off. Like, but this is a shitty figure, dude. Like someone called the quality figure doesn't look that great. Maybe this is a training figure as well. But it, I, I, you know, it's relatively sexy. Uh, I think it's a prize figure. You know, it's not much to say here. Uh, I guess this. La I'm hoping this last page has something worth a damn. Because uh, so far, this entire month has been a bit, a bit of a disappointment. I thought the previous figures we were looking at were guaranteed to come come out this month. They stayed January 2018, and they might still release this month. But these are the figures that we're looking at right now are guaranteed to come out this month. Uh, they've been confirmed. They have a release date and everything. And a lot of them are not looking that great. So, yeah. Uh, they don't even have that many pictures of, the, of a lot of these figures, which is kind of sad. Some of them are still drafts if you will so it's just kind of disappointing let's look at this character uh a sailor moon i really don't the sad thing is you don't see too many really nice sailor moon figures i mean this one gets the point across but i mean that's kind of it you know it's like yeah it's fucking sailor moon yeah it's what you expected nothing special nothing out of ordinary it's just fucking sailor moon so i don't know like, like take this take this image of itachi for instance like, they clearly pushed the envelope a little bit more and gave this motherfucker, like, some flames and shit. Like, they did something elegant with it. At least they tried. And, like, they put them together with Sasuke. This shit looks pretty badass, you know? Like, that's pretty awesome. But, <clears throat> you know, the Susano, they got the fucking Susano. This shit is pretty cool. This actually might be the nicest figure I've seen this month, especially when you pair it with Sasuke. Like, that looks badass. But, um, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. The Sailor Moon one just looks underwhelming at that point. This character I believe I've seen before. Uh, I don't know who she's who she is or what she's from. Oh no! Oh god, no! This is this was posable too. Oh god, and the detail is really not that great either. God, this is a rough month, man. This is a rough month. They got the motorcycle from <laughs> the Dark Knight movie. They got Captain America in in the armor. Like if this is something that I would buy. But I do like to see these kind of Asian-inspired versions of uh, comic book characters. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty badass. And they have one for Iron Man as well. So if I were to get any of these characters, it would probably be Iron Man and a, a Captain America one just like this. And, that's, and I'd be good to go. I would never buy any other Marvel shit, but that's it. <laughs> uh... I mean, and that is it, dude. There's some Gundams and some Pokemon, which I'm not going to buy either one of these. Uh, there's a guy from Saint Seiya. Uh, but, yeah, most of the excitement was at the beginning of the month. And as you can see, the excitement kind of dwindled the further along we went. Uh, there's not much to say about the stuff that's actually released this month. 
The more exciting stuff is the stuff that is hypothetically supposed to be releasing this month, but they're mostly figures that got pushed back for previous months. So I'm glad we looked at those figures. I will tell you this much. I wasn't really planning on heavily editing this video, but I probably will have to. I do... I've been getting a lot of trouble with regards to some of the content on my channel, you know, because it has some nudity in it. Now, nudity is permitted on YouTube if it is of an artistic or educational nature. The minute it becomes sexual or pornographic, then YouTube will fucking try to destroy you, okay? <coughs> so that being the case, I was aware that my favorite collection does have some nudity on its on its site. I even took off the safe for work feature because I, I feel like if you're gonna look at figure, you kind of want to see all parts of it, of course. And I like I like the fact that, that we had that feature available. But after some of the scrutiny I've come under with in regards to YouTube lately, I want to be more cautious about the kind of stuff I'm uploading. So I don't know how much this video will be edited. I'll try my best to give you guys some some of the naughty parts if that's what you'd like to see but anything that's like heavily sexualized i might have to edit out which is very unfortunate because i think it's i think it has some pretty funny commentary to go along with it but we'll see we will see but guys <laughs> you have to support this video uh please nobody try to flag this shit or anything like that because i'm already having a hard enough time as it is i'm a very small channel and i would appreciate any kind of support you guys can give uh yeah, we're going to definitely be age restricted in this fucking video. And after that, we will have to do some heavy editing. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's Tendo Tokyo Theater. Uh, Happy New Year's. Welcome to 2018. And stay tuned to Tendo Tokyo Theater because we will be doing a lot of future anime uh, figure unboxings and other future videos uh, in the upcoming month. So thank you guys. And goodbye.